Hi, today we're going to research using a program called CultureGrams. CultureGrams is a database that you can research states, countries, and even provinces. You'll notice that right now I am on the main page. You can get to this page after logging in, or if you're using CultureGrams from school, you should go directly to this page. So you have four different choices. We're going to research using the World Edition today. So you're going to go over to where it says World Edition and just click on Explore. If it doesn't go the first time, just click it a couple of times. Sometimes it just is a little sensitive. So there's several ways that you can get to what you want to research. Um, over here is a search box. So if you know exactly what country you are researching or if you have a certain topic or um, information that you're looking for about a certain country, you could type that in here, much like you would do if you searched for something on Google. If you're sort of exploring, you may want to use the map um, version. So the way the map version works is you click on a certain continent on the map, and then it will give you more choices for what specific area of that continent you are interested in. For example, if I was looking up Asia, then it will give me all of this to choose the different countries that are part of Asia. I can also scroll down and get each one of them in text form and all of those I can click on as well. So I chose China. Once I got to China, you have a little did you know, some, so just some quick short facts. Um, on the side here, there is going to be information about the background including land and climate and history, the people of China, population, language, religion, general attitudes and personal appearance, information about customs and courtesies, and lifestyle. There's also information about society, and you will notice as you scroll down that you have a flag. They have a flag for every country um, shown. And then there's some basic data about the country, things like the population, the latitude and the longitude, and many more items. You may also notice that there are some, sometimes there's videos here, sometimes it's just a sound recording with information about that. On this side, you'll see some other things. There's gives you information about the kids edition. Um, so we are in middle school and high school, so that would be more so for our elementary students at our other building, but just so you know, it's there. There's a print the report, view the full report, you can email the report, and then there's more features, a photo gallery, a video gallery, slideshows, interviews, famous people's recipes, and then many tools that you can also use. Some of those you may not be interested in using as much for this project, but they're there. You can also find many of those same items up here. So let's say I'm interested in looking up land and climate. I'm going to click on that on the sidebar. And here's the little article. Um, it's usually broken up by a couple of pages, so you may see a little um, button that says next. Uh, the other thing that's very interesting about this is you can actually generate a citation for a bibliography. So if your teacher is requiring you to write a bibliography, you just click on the correct format. And here it's the lane you use MLA. So you just would click on MLA, and it gives you the correct citation. You would just cut and paste that and put it into either Word or Google, whatever you are using, and it will be there. There's even a copy citation, and it copies it directly to your picture. Um, yours may show up a little bit different than that, because I'm actually using a Mac right now, but um, it will be similar. So that's Culturegrams. Um, it's a great resource, and one of the things that we 